Okay, this is complex rationalized bridge. Okay, so what is the strategy? The strategy is clear. Uh, let's work in the expression in the numerator part, in the top part. We have found the least common denominator. Least common denominator is xy in alpha by the order. xy put together. xy divided by y is x times 2 is 2x. xy divided by x is y times minus 3 is minus 3y. Remember, you divide the least common denominator by each denominator one by one and multiply by the corresponding numerator. Okay, leave it like that for a moment. Now, in the bottom part, LCD again is 6y. So it's uh, xy divided by y is x times 4x is 4x squared xy divided by x is y times 9y times negative 9y is negative 9y squared. Okay, remember after that you copy the expression in the top exactly the same 2x minus 3y over xy times and you flip it the fraction in the denominator part. 4x squared minus 9y squared. It's uh, obvious, it's obvious, it's obvious. In this case, xy and xy cancels out, but there are more simplifications. Look, see, I copy 2x minus 3y over 4x squared minus 9y squared. I saw that this expression in the bottom is the difference of a square. And the factorization is the square root of this guy gets 2x, 2x. And the square root of this guy gets 3y, 3y. And plus or minus. And 2x minus 3y is canceled with the 3x minus y in the top. And so in the top we have nothing, and okay, nothing is 1. In the bottom we have 2x plus 3y is the answer. Okay? Okay, again simplification, but in this case uh, we have fraction exponent. Uh -huh, let's do it according to the order of the operation. Operation inside the parenthesis first, so that this exponent first. I copy this exactly the same. Time, and this is multiplication. Multiplication is 4 over 8 over x3 over 4 power. And this is simplification is one half. So basically we have x five over four exponent times x one half exponent over x three over four exponent. Now multiplication when you multiply you add in the exponent is five over four plus one half over x three four. So basically it's x is 5 over 4, 5 over 4 plus 1 half. LCD is 4 is 5 plus 2 is 7 over 4. This is 7 over 4 over x 3 over 4. Now division. Division is subtraction. This is 7 over 4 minus 3 over 4. When you subtracting, in this case we have same denominator, nice, is 7 minus 3 gets 4. And 4 over 4 is 1. And 1 is invisible exponent, the answer is just 6. Okay, this is division. Division to rational expression. The division, remember, you copy the first, exactly the same. I don't touch the first. Um, Multiplication, you change the division problem to multiplication when you find the reciprocal of that. You copy x squared minus 7x plus 12 and x squared minus 4x. Okay? Now let's do it in the factorization one by one. Okay, unfortunately, we have here and here two 
a complicated trinomial. Let's do it separately here. 2x squared plus x minus 6. Remember, multiplication this and this is 12. And try the combination. The factor of 12 is somehow when you add and subtract and give me 1, is 4 and 3. Now we have 2x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus 6. And now factorization by grouping. Really common factor in this case is 2x, x plus 2. Really common factor in this case is minus 3, x plus 2. Now, the factorization is x plus 2 is a common factor, uh, 2x minus 3. Okay, and you replace. You replace. You put here. Is x plus 2. 2x minus 3 over something. Let's do in the factorization of the second. Okay, it's 2x squared minus 3x minus 9. Multiplication here is 18. And the factor is obviously the 6 and 3. Because 6 and 3 is 18, and 6 minus 3 is 3. This is 2x squared minus 6x plus 3x minus 9 by grouping here a greater common factor is 2x is x minus 3 and here greater common factor is 3 x minus 3 x minus 3 is a common factor 2x plus 3 mm -hmm. this is the factorization the factorization is x minus 3 times 2x plus 3 times Okay, this is the regular trinomial, it's easy. Open directly the parentheses. The factorization is obvious, okay, it's 4 and 3. Uh, 4 and 3, yeah. 4 and 3, because 4 times 3 is 12. And 4 plus 3 is same sign, negative of. And this is just a binomial. A great common factor is x outside, x, x minus 4. So what is the common factor that we can cancel out? We can cancel out x minus 4 and x minus 4. x minus 3 and x minus 3. And that's it. I guess so. No more. And the answer is... Uh, this is tricky. This is not common because it's 2x minus 3 and this is 2x plus 3. Uh, so far we have in the top x plus 2 times... 2x minus 3. In the bottom we have only x times 2x plus 3. Uh -huh. And this is the final answer. No more simplification is possible. Okay. Okay. So by this equation. This is obvious. Get quadratic equation. But of course, completely disorganized equation. You must write in standard form. Multiply this and this. Multiply this and this. This is 3x squared plus 4x minus 7 equals to 0. Ready. Standard form. Standard form. Okay. Let's solve it by quadratic equation. A3. B is 4 and C is negative 7. Uh, apply the formula minus B plus or minus square root B square minus 4 multiplication AC AC divided by 2A. Now blocking is minus 4 plus or minus square root. 4 squared minus 4 multiplication by 3 multiplication by negative 7 over 2 times 3. Uh, this is 16 plus because of negative and negative is positive. So this is 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 7 is 84, 84 because it's 14, can read that one, 84, 84. And, and plus 16 
is 10, carry that 1 is 100. That's 100. And this is, this is 100. And the square root 100 is 10. Because so, so far we have minus 4 plus or minus 10 divided by 6. Let me separate it into parts. Minus 4 plus 10 over 6. And minus 4 minus 10 over 6. Uh -huh. 10 minus 4 is 6. And 6 divided by 6 is 1. One solution. Um, this is 10 and, and negative 4 is negative 14 divided by 6. You can reduce a little bit in the lowest term. Divided by 2 is 7, negative 7. Divided by 2 is 3. And it's negative 7 over 3. It's another solution. A solution set. Solution set is the point, is the value 1, negative 7 over 3. Mm -hmm. Super.